What's up, y'all? It's your boy PJ, and I'll be showing y'all where I store my bike. It's pretty straightforward. Got myself a key and a lock. You know, make sure whenever you guys store your bike that the key, the key insert is facing towards the closest part of the wall. Just for security aspects, it's good. A good little lock like this is also very secure, good protection. Hard for bolt cutters to get on that, but they can still do the job. But honestly, if someone's stealing your bike in here, they got a lot more to worry about than just getting past this little lock. This is my storage unit. This is where I put my bike. I believe it's an eight by 10. So you see, I got a little bit of room. I can probably put another bike in here if I really wanted to, but this is fine for me. For added security, I like to put on a disc lock. I don't have no time for nobody to steal my bike. So if someone still happens to get on this floor somehow, having a passcode and everything, and they also get to my unit and break the lock, before anybody can come here with an alarm because they have cameras and they monitor this place, then they have to get this off because they can't just roll my bike out. And even then, if they just take off you know, my wheel and they roll it out the other way, it's still gonna be very hard to get this out unnoticed. I mean, this is pretty convenient because, I mean, I have a peace of mind like whenever I'm not riding my bike. Because I work in a city, so I can't ride my bike to work all the time because it's a headache. And you know how New York is, like, there's really not a lot of places you can park your motorcycle safely having a peace of mind. And if you guys do know any spots, please let me know so that way I can um, start using them. Taking this bad boy out is not too bad. Just gotta like maneuver it out, turn the wheel a little bit, manipulate it. Make sure you don't hit nothing because you don't want to damage your nice, your nice bike. All right. And she's good to go. After all that's done, get your little lock. Close her up. And like I said, make sure y'all put the lock closest to the wall for safety. Good to go. It's pretty straightforward. And I chose this storage unit because they got cameras like in every single hall, um, 24 hour surveillance, as well as 24 hour access and you can only go to certain floors if you have um if you have access code for it so i can't get on another floor if i don't have that code and this is a great alternative man like uh just keeping your bike on a street with a cover because it's not really that safe like people people are are, are ruthless dude so you see my bike it fits very well in the storage and in the elevator it's real nice real comfortable um and like i said the most important thing is i have a peace of mind whenever i'm sleeping at home and my bike is in the storage not everybody lives in a house so you want to keep your bike safe if you ride and you don't want to just you don't want to just keep this on the street like i said that's the most important thing because i hear it too many times about people stealing bikes on the street. This whole process took about 10 minutes. So, you know, five minutes to ride here in my car and 10 minutes to get the bike out. So it's, it's not that bad. I, I suggest y'all look into it. Make sure when you guys are looking at storage units uh, to see how clean it is so you can be sure that it's good for you know, not having rodents and stuff like that. Make sure that it's a good, somewhat good area. And really, um, yeah, just do your research. Check it out. See what's good. 
and y'all be real happy about your your, uh, your investment. It's better than paying full coverage of insurance because this bike was 10 grand and you buy a bike cash or you're financing a bike and you get full coverage, yo, you're looking at like another 400, $400 in insurance maybe, man. And I know whenever I saw how much full coverage costs, I was like, no, it's not happening. Like, it's just, it's stupid. It's stupid to pay that much for insurance. Unless you got like a, a bike that costs as much as a car. I hope you guys liked uh, the video. And I just wanted to show you guys how to safely store your bike in the city. So if you guys have any questions, drop a comment and I'll be sure to get back to y'all eventually. Um, and ride safe, y'all. Peace.